Public Service Commission removed as party in case against government for salary deduction during industrial action. Details to this story and more in the National Report. With the details to the news for Monday, June 3rd, I am Leslie Ann Johnson. The matter involving the government of Grenada with respect to the salary deduction of a teacher made during industrial action last year came on for hearing on Monday before the High Court in Grenada. The case was brought by secondary school teacher Donna Marcel Lusan, with the defendants being the Cabinet of Ministers, the Minister for Finance, the Public Service Commission, PSC, and the Attorney General. The Public Service Commission was successful in its application to be removed as a party based on its constitutional duties. On the substantive issue of the salary deduction for days not worked due to strike action, Justice Godfrey Smith encouraged the parties to settle since the claim amongst about $500. The issue remains whether government has a right to deduct salary for periods not worked during an industrial dispute. The employee or claimant in this case withheld labor and therefore government withheld wages for the same period. The outcome of the case will have significant implications for the wider public service and the constitutional law in Grenada. A date for the hearing of the matter has not yet been set. The matter came on for hearing this morning before Justice Smith. Now it is sub judice, so I'm not in a position to go into details with respect to the matter. But what I can indicate is that the Public Service Commission did advance an application this morning to be removed as a party and it was successful on that application. The substantive issue in the claim continues and that substantive issue relates to whether or not if you do not work, if you must not be paid. And that matter will be determined by the court on a date to be set. No date has yet been scheduled for that hearing of the substantive issue. That's Solicitor General Ms. Dia Forrester. A more competitive environment and consumer empowerment. The expected benefits from Monday's launch of the mobile number portability in Grenada and all ECTEL member states. They have now joined Trinidad and Tobago, the Bahamas, Jamaica and others who have already launched the service. Mobile number portability or MNP enables consumers to keep their current mobile telephone numbers when switching from one mobile telephone operator to another. This service removes the inconvenience of phone users having to inform their contacts, family and friends of a new number after changing their mobile service provider. The MNP project began in 2015 with a decision by the Ectel Council of Ministers to implement local number portability for both fixed and mobile phones. Ms. Kim Fedrick, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Infrastructure Development, Public Utilities, Energy, Transport and Implementation, says more choices means more consumer empowerment. With such developments in the region, it is important that Grenada remains competitive and service providers offer the most advanced telecommunication services at affordable prices to the citizens of Grenada. Mobile number portability will be available to post-paid and prepaid mobile consumers of all service providers within the Ectel region as long as the, cons the customer's number has not been barred, restricted, suspended, or headsets reported stolen or lost to the current provider. There will be no charges for number porting. All porting or switching charges will be met by the service provider. However, the current provider may charge for the new SIM card and unlocking the customer's handset before the number is ported. Dr. Spencer Thomas, chairman of the National Telecommunications Regulatory Commission, the NTRC, says there should be no barrier to enjoying the services that are enjoyed globally. We believe that the launch of number portability in Grenada and across the Ectel states simultaneously embodies the spirit of the telecommunications um, treaty and the act that we have, the treaty um, um, that we have signed way back in 2000, and the, the protocol which amended, have recently amended the treaty. So that number of portability is in sync with that treaty, and also the reg regulations that we have, the legislation, the principal legislation, which was the Telecommunications Act, on the new communications um, legislation that will be on electronic communications. We see the dynamism in the market, and this number of portability is just one of several issues that will be inconsistent 
in concert with those legislation and movement forward. Work on fixed number portability will commence later this year when a second fixed line service should become available in each Ectel member state. This is the National Report. More news after the break. The countdown is on to Grenada's most exciting music festival. Friday, 7th June, is Sol EC Limited Rhythm and Soul Night with Kerry Hilson, the legendary Freddie Jackson, Eddie Bullen, and Jefferson Ramirez. Saturday, 8th June, is Wester Hall Rum Reggae Fest featuring Busy Signal, Maxi Priest, Kimani Marley, Tamara St. Bernard, and more. The festival climaxes on Sunday, 9th June with a George F. Huggins Soka Fusion featuring the All-Stars with Tennis and John and Blacks. Patrice Roberts, Wes Ways, Jab King, and more. Gates open 7 p.m., showtime 9 p.m. Advanced tickets $80 Friday and Saturday, $60 on Sunday, and are available island-wide. Limited VIP and season tickets at Grenada Optical and GoToFet.com. Grenada Music Festival 2019. Get your tickets today. Sponsors, Silver Sands Grenada, Hennessy, The Antillian Group, Coca-Cola, St. George's University, Glen Elch Springwater, and Netherlands Insurance. Continuing the news, a call for Grenadians to be responsible when sharing information during the Atlantic hurricane season, which began on Saturday. It comes from Senator Winston Garraway, Minister with Responsibility for Disaster Management and Information. Forecasters are predicting 13 named storms, with five expected to develop into hurricanes, two of which can be major. Senator Garraway warns that information should only be shared from those authorized to do so. Within the region, there are four entities that is responsible for countries within our sphere. So the focal point for Grenada is Trinidad and Tobago. So information would be disseminated from the Hurricane Center and comes down to Trinidad. Trinidad will contextualize whatever information they get for the region, for that space, and it's not only Grenada. So Trinidad, Grenada, you have Guyana and the likes and so forth. So they contextualize the information for that geographic space and they will then send it out. They send that to us. We now will have to run it through, and I'm saying we, meaning the MET services, will have to run it through their own models for our localized space. When the models have been done, they will then give us accurate information as pertains to Grenada. So what you see from Trinidad, yes, it's for the entire region, but it's not contextualized to Grenada. MET office is the one who will do that. While information will be readily available on the internet, he says NAGMA remains the official source of information. From Trinidad, it goes to the Met, the Met contextualizes it, then sends it to NAGMA and other media entities. NAGMA now will then send out the release. What you get from NAGMA will be what Met would have given to us in a contextualized form, and that is the information for Grenada. Um, any other way, will be against the established norms. So I will ask the media entities to follow suit with the information that MET provides. That is Grenada's contextualized information. Clive Austin, chief engineer at Grand Lake, had some advice for property owners whom he says need to ensure safety around their homes by trimming overhanging branches, some of which are close to power lines. Once you're looking at, 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 at trees over um, power lines, it's always best to call us so that we could look at it. Um, cutting trees, pruning trees over power lines, there's always a danger that the, the branches um, can fall on the lines, um, damage the lines, um, take off electricity, and basically create more problems for us, and even the customer in terms of um, additional outage time. So it's always best to, to call us. If we think that it is safe for the customer to trim because it's within their property, okay, we will advise them accordingly. But definitely, if it's a case where our lines will be endangered, we will basically take on that responsibility and do the necessary cutting and trimming. Um, in a lot of cases, we probably have to take out power in that area. Um, we might have to drop the lines um, um, if we think it's necessary, but um, we will basically take on that, that task. The Grenada Cooperative Nutmeg Association, GCNA, says marketing will be a key strategy to tackle low production and to obtain new markets. Chairman of the board, Leo Cato, says going forward, 
the association will engage the services of a marketing officer to promote the farmers, their produce, and the industry overall. A marketing officer is something that we take very seriously because we realize that we have a number of produce. You can see some of them right there. A lot more is done, are done in the shop. And we have not been marketing what we do extensively. So the thinking is to have somebody assigned as a marketing officer so that aggressive action and energy can be put into finding sales for what we produce. And as we, as we pursue the U.S. market, marketing would be a key strategy going forward. Chief Agricultural Officer Daniel Lewis says while marketing is high on the agenda, maintaining quality produce is equally important. He commended the association on the move to employ a quality assurance officer. With the quality assurance officer on board now, I sincerely hope that a good regime would be put in place right across the value chain to look and see how we could improve the quality. We may not be, and Grenada has always been noted for selling quality nut mags, we may not be a, a mega producer, but certainly our quality has to be right up there. And that's the National Report. I'm Leslie Ann Johnson.